Hello everybody and welcome back to another Medicine Dane County Regional Airport update. So excited to bring this one to you guys. Got a great line of aircraft here once again. I'm currently recording this update 21 minutes past midnight, but I'm jazzed up. Got to see the Twins get a walk-off win over the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, and um, just jazzed up right now. I could have waited till morning to do this, but I figured why not just do it right now. I got 5% left on my camera, so Hopefully it doesn't run out of battery. Uh, but we'll begin our update here. I know I'm starting in the American Airlines section a lot, so I think I'll switch that up. Uh, stay tuned later this week. I'll be posting a retro medicine update and also a retro Fresno update. Uh, so stay tuned for those. Uh, for the retro medicine update, I'll be sure to start from uh, the other side with uh, going gate one up to gate 13 rather than starting here and then going over to the other side. Uh, but we'll be starting here in gate 11 with this American E145. This is in the old livery, uh, which I only use if I need to use both American Eagle E145, which I do have to do in this case. Uh, this one's operated by Envoy Air. And this one came in uh, quite late, actually. Uh, looks like it's about, uh, oh wow, over two hours, almost three hours late from Chicago Hair. And uh, so we'll be doing the turnaround heading back out there. So. That's uh, not very good for those passengers had to wait uh, almost three hours for their flight to here to Madison. So, but unfortunately, not enough to a great start here in this update uh, with the delay so long. But um, hopefully that got figured out and uh, they'll be getting going here. But uh, that's not, <laughs> we're not off to a great start here. And already apologies for the lighting of these next three aircraft. They're not going to be too good. But here we have this United Express Bombardier XS Mitsubishi CRJ200. Uh, the actual record was in the Continental Globe livery, but I'm representing it here with my Evo Blue. Uh, this one came in from Chicago Hair as well. It's just now taxiing out for the return flight back out to Chicago. And we're catching a little bit of the terminal building in here in this shot, but here is the American Eagle E175. This one is operated by Envoy Air. And this one, uh, we'll do the Dallas-Fort Worth turn for us today. You can probably already see the next aircraft on the top right of your screen. We'll get that to that in a moment. And yes, here's the other American Eagle E145. This one is operated by Piedmont Airlines. This one's currently pushing back. Uh, this one arrived in earlier from Philadelphia, and it's just not pushing back. And we'll be heading back out to Philadelphia. Kind of like a shot from on top of the terminal here. I had to get a little bit creative for this one. Here we have my Shapeways Custom Delta Connection CRJ900. This one is operated by Sky West. And this one came in from Detroit Metro. And it'll be heading out to Minneapolis St. Paul. And here is that other Delta Connection CRJ900 operated by Sky West as well. Uh, this one just landed and is currently taxiing into its gate, gate 8, right next to the other CRJ900. And this one arrived in from. Minneapolis, St. Paul, and we'll be heading out to Detroit. So the opposite of the other one, I guess that's just what they like to do here in Madison with these Delta Connection CRJ 900s, because I've seen that before here. I'm not really sure why they do that, but uh, that's the situation for this aircraft. Three aircraft, one shot, why not? We will start on the bottom left of your screen with this United A319. This one is in the EO Blue livery, filling in for the actual livery was the Continental Globe. Uh, this one came in from Denver. And we'll be doing the turnaround and heading back out there. In the middle, we have a United Express Embraer E170. This one is operated by Republic, and this one came in from Chicago Hair. And this will uh, later be doing the turnaround and heading back out there. Finally, at the top of your screen, our final aircraft in this update, we have this Frontier A320 Neo. Uh, the actual aircraft is in the Junior the Lynx livery, but this is in the Baja the Whale Shark livery, as always. And this one came in from Denver, and uh, we'll be doing the turnaround and heading back out there. Uh, so that that is it for this update at Madison Dane County Regional Airport. Thank you all for checking it out. Uh, of course, uh, fun to do, fun to get back here again. It's been a while. Uh, I know this is kind of a similar aircraft lineup to what I normally have here. Uh, so I'm going to try to mix it up a little bit doing the retro update soon. Uh, I'm not quite sure when exactly that will come out, but it will be one of the upcoming days this week. I don't really have my upload schedule figured out, uh, even the day after I'm recording this, I uh, really, or I guess the day of recording this technically, since I am recording it, like, it's now 
uh, 12.30 a.m. on the 6th of August. Or, well, 30 minutes after midnight. So, very, very early morning here on, on recording this video. Uh, but I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope I wasn't, I hope it didn't sound like it was 12.30 a.m. when I'm recording this, but uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. And I will, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to making that retro update. I'm kind of on a retro kick lately. So uh, sorry about just doing all the retro updates, all the retro stuff right away, but uh, or all the, at the same time. Uh, but hopefully that's a little bit uh, something, a, a mix up, and hopefully you're enjoying that. That'll do it for this update of Medicine, Dane County Regional Airport, and thank you all for checking it out once again. And I'll see you tomorrow, as always. Good night. Auf Wiedersehen.